What types of food are available in the market today? Well, there are three types of food, organic products, conventional food, and GMFs, I mean genetically modified food. And which types of food do consumers prefer buying? They prefer buying organic food, of course. I imagine this preference must be due to the fact that unlike conventional food and GMFs, organic food contains no pesticide residues and no antibiotics. That's a good deduction. But that does not explain everything. Advertising also plays a role in this craze for eating organics. What do you mean? How shall I put it? Advertising promotes the idea that organic foods are somewhat healthier and less damaging to the environment. This idea has sold well since the deduction of BSE, bovine spongiform encephalopathy, commonly known as mad cow disease. So the eating of organic food will certainly keep increasing as long as people are worried about food safety. As a matter of fact, more and more farmers are turning to organic farming these days. Let's come back to GMFs. I imagine they will certainly disappear partly because of the bad publicity given to them in recent years, and partly because of the scandal of the mad cow disease. Well, they may or they may not disappear. That depends on the conclusions of the debate engaged about them. I suppose that those who are against the farming of GMFs will probably win the debate now, that the Prime Minister Tony Blair has said, I quote, GMFs might be harmful to human health and the environment, end of quote. Hold a minute, the Prime Minister said might. So GMFs have harmful effects on human health and the environment just as they might not. There is no strong evidence on either side of the question. So I suppose the debate could continue for some time yet. That's right. It won't stop until one of the sides in the debate brings decisive evidence for or against the farming of GMFs.